Hi, and welcome to Breezy, the website builder that anyone can use. The WordPress login page, the page you'll see on over 30% of the websites across the web. It does the job, but it's kind of dull and boring. You and your clients deserve much, much better. And today I'll show you how you can easily create custom designs for your WordPress login page. Before we get started, let me show you what we'll build today. A custom login in a pop-up that you can link from anywhere on your website. And then we'll create a standalone custom login page like this. Let's get into it. Here's my WordPress dashboard. I'll go to Pages. Load my homepage here. We'll create that custom WordPress login in a pop-up. So we'll need to add a pop-up. I've created here a button. I advise you put that pop-up somewhere in the header, something that is somewhere where it's very easily accessible. We'll add a pop-up here from the link icon. We'll change from URL to pop-up and we'll create one from scratch. This is our standard pop-up. Let's put some elements in here. We'll have a title, so we'll add a text element and then we'll have the login element. Of course, the pop-up is uh, way too wide, so we'll need to play with the uh, width here up top. The title will say something like uh, account login, put it on middle. You can, you can create here and get as creative as you want. Uh, play with uh, all the elements, with uh, columns, with uh, different structures but I like to keep it simple. The login element uh, also supports all sorts of um, uh, styling options. Uh, let's make the border a bit to pop up a bit more, Make put it on two pixels instead of one. And here, let's go to advance and uh, turn off the remember me uh, option. We'll add a padding here on the, on the row to tighten up things a little bit and maybe make the this button uh, on black and have the overlay text on black as well. Excellent. Let's see how we did. Hit an update, go back and then go on the front end. In order to test this, we'll need to be logged out. So I logged out from my from my WordPress. Yes, I do. And now we're ready to test our login pop-up. Click on login. We'll get our login pop-up, fill in your WordPress credentials and hit the login button. And you'll be redirected on your homepage and you'll be logged in. Let's create our second standalone login page. You'll go to dashboard. And here on pages, we'll want a new page, call it login, publish it, and of course, edit it with Breezy. Here we'll start with a blank page. Uh, again, you can create anything you want in here. I'll go with a blank block. We'll need to make this block full height. So on the height section here on the block, we'll change auto to full height. Let's add a column. And some elements here, we'll have a title and also we'll have our login element. Before we get to our login, let's play with the block a bit. I want here uh, a smaller width, first of all, to tighten things up a bit and a custom image background. It looks better already. And on the column, let's put a nice dark background here as well to let our users see our login. I like to give it a small opacity to, to let the background image uh, see through. Let's put some padding in here and maybe play with the corners a bit. Let's make uh, only two corners with Max radius. Excellent. Let's uh, let's make it happen. Go. Go. 
go with white. Our borders here, let's make them two pixels and also bring down the opacity a, a touch. Uh, they were uh, popping up too much. Our button should say login and maybe make it the text dark. Let's add a, a logo as well. For the logo, we'll need an, an image. I'll go with this one. Play with your sizes a bit here. If you want to add some spacings, you'll search for your spacer element. And basically, sky is the limit in here. You can you can do anything anything you want. For example, uh, this being a gray, I wanted to make it li uh, lighter, uh, whiter, white. For example, uh, what you'll want to do, you don't have to use Photoshop or something like this. You'll go here and under filters, and you'll uh, you'll uh, drag this to the right, the brightness to the right, and it will go on white looks way better. Excellent. Let's go on the front end. Just hit an update to save your, your progress. But we, before we go to the front end, let me go back to the dashboard and add this page in our header. I'll go here uh, on our home page. And on this login button, we'll change from our pop-up login to our URL login. So we change to the URL tab and We'll put here, uh, you'll copy paste your link to your page here, but you can also put the backslash uh, name of the page, login in our case. I'll hit an update and let's go to the front end. Here again, we'll need to log out. And now we can test our second login page. Hit the login button and we are redirected to our custom standalone login page. Again, fill in the WordPress details. And when you hit login, you are redirected to your home page and you are logged in. This is it. From now on with Breezy, you can get as creative as you want with your WordPress login pages. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for videos like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one.